Hey legends, Dr. Matt here, your favorite pediatrician with a stethoscope in one hand and a thesaurus in the other. Today we're diving into an ABC article, How Dead White Guys Named All Your Organs? Catchy and a bit spicy. Let's unpack it. Stick around to the end, you don't want to miss, guess, that, body part. Let's see how much high school Latin you remember when I quiz you on some especially weird anatomic terms. So here's the deal. For centuries, body parts were named by the people who discovered them. And surprise, surprise, most of them were men. Fallopian tubes? Gabriel Fallopio. Bartholin's glands? Caspar Bartholin. The article argues that these names are outdated and exclusionary. And I agree to a point. Descriptive names like rectouterine pouch instead of Pouch of Douglas, actually help people understand what's going on. It's not about erasing history, it's about making medicine more accessible. Especially for students, patients, and yes, even tired doctors trying to explain things at 3am. But here's where I pump the brakes. The article leans into a culture war tone. Hundreds of dead white men are living inside of us? Look, I get the metaphor, but these weren't just guys with egos. They were pioneers often working without gloves, anesthesia, or even basic hygiene. Look, we don't all share their values today, but we are standing on their shoulders. And those shoulders probably have an eponym or two. And while we're at it, can we talk about some of the names we still use? Innominate artery literally means unnamed. You had one job. Funny bone. Not a bone, definitely not funny. How about we rename the pancreas the glucose gremlin? So yes, update the names, make them clearer, more accessible, more useful. But let's also respect the legacy that got us here, because modern medicine, especially in obstetrics, perinatal care and vaccination, is nothing short of miraculous. We don't have to choose between progress and respect, we can do both. And now, for a special treat, guess that body part with Dr. Matt. Welcome to Guess That! Body part! The only show where Latin meets laughter and your anatomy knowledge gets hilariously tested. Alright folks, it's time to play. Let's see how well you know your oddly named anatomy. I'll give you a ridiculous sounding name. You guess what it is. Ready? Round one. This one's a classic. Anatomical snuff box. Is it A. Victorian party drug? B. A bony hollow in your wrist? Or C, where your dignity goes after med school, it, it's B, that little groove by your thumb where people used to put snuff, 18th century vibes only. Round 2. Next up, xiphoid process. Sounds like a Marvel villain, right? But is it A, the pointy bit at the end of your sternum, B, a Star Wars ship, or C, a failed startup that sold ergonomic forceps? It's A. That sword shaped cartilage at the bottom of your sternum. Fun fact, it's always the last bit of your sternum to ossify, which is fancy talk for turning into bone. Round 3. Coming in hot, Glabella. Is it a planet in the Barbie cinematic universe? B. A high end European shampoo? Or C. That smooth bit between your eyebrows you furrow when your registrar forgets to write discharge notes? It's C. You use it more than you think, especially when reviewing consult notes at 5pm. How about Ginglimus? Is it A. A mythical creature from Norse mythology? B. A hinge joint just like your elbow? Or C. What a toddler yells when they stub their toe? It's B. It's just a fancy term for hinge joint. But it does sound like it belongs in a Dr. Seuss book. Alright guys, time for a bonus round. Last one. Frenulum. Is it A, a type of pasta, B, a tiny fold of tissue in places that shall remain mysterious, or C, a nickname that you definitely don't want in high school? It's B, famously under your tongue, and in a few other spicy spots we won't point out. <laughs> That's it for Guess This Body Part. If you got 5 out of 5, congratulations, your Latin roots are alive and well. If not, don't worry, most of us are still calling it that thingy near the elbow anyway. If you like this hot take with a side of anatomy, subscribe, hit that like button, and drop your favourite weird organ in the comments. 
or better yet, make one up and I'll try and guess what it is in the next episode. And remember, whether it's the pouch of Douglas or the glucose gremlin, I'm here to make medicine make sense.